Hello everyone, since my last video, I'm excited to announce Interlude is now ready for users. If you're new here, allow me to fill you in. I'm an ex-lead software engineer at a boutique financial consultancy in London. I recently left there to build my own apps like Interlude and build my own design description agency called Design Tide. Let me tell you what Interlude is. It's basically a product that lets you search, save and manage UK companies quickly and easily. Now, this sounds like something you'd be interested in. Head to interlude.io and there'll be a bit more information about the product there. And either way, if you're sticking with me with this video, I'm gonna give you a demo at the end of the video while also talking you through my tech stack. I know a few of you in the last video mentioned about kind of wanting to know kind of how it was built or what's it built in. So I'll be going into that in a bit more detail at the end of the video, so make sure you stay till then. It's been a pretty intense week getting Interlude ready for users while also starting a development project for a design tied client. It's a really cool project. I can't wait to share more with you soon, but I can't yet. Now, earlier this week, I had an interesting call with my accountant who mentioned that they use as a practice the company's house at least 20 times a day. This is like really encouraging news for me in terms of, you know, even use for the product, you know, use for Interlude. So next week, I'm going to really try and focus on getting on calls with accountants and showing them the product, seeing what they think and going from there basically. So now my first product is ready, what's next? The answer is marketing and getting feedback from early adopters slash, you know, beta users. You know, as I mentioned with the accountants earlier. What's really funny, and I think lots of developers struggle with a little bit, is I plan now not to touch the code for Interlude for a while, unless we get some paid users on board and they have some really valid or kind of, you know, definite feedback that needs to be acted on. It's very, it can be quite a dangerous thing to have a product and just keep, you know, where you just keep on adding more features without getting any early users or traction. So that's my next, you know, it's kind of a rule I'm setting with myself is I'm not touching the code until either someone pays for it or someone tells me it's rubbish. And then, you know, we can go from there. Now for my agency design tide, I'm still trying to figure out the best position for it. I think I may pivot to more of a development agency than just design. Over the last few weeks, building Interlude and also now starting this development project with a uh, design title client has made me really think about what I want to be working on in my time. And I feel building products is what I'm good at. And I think I'm going to try and focus on that more, but food for thought, we'll see. I think that pretty much covers it for the recap for the week. Let's jump into the Interlude product demo. Okay, so starting out in the landing page, this is the launch landing page. Now, to begin with, I did have a product demo in here but I felt it wasn't quite doing the trick. You know, I was doing a bit of marketing and people were visiting the site and landing on it, but no one was taking the step of booking a demo. And I felt they weren't booking a demo because there was a video demo right here. So I've taken that away. I've added, I believe, a nice screenshot of what the product does. Feedback is always welcome, you know, depending on what you what you think. But I think that will kind of makes a bit more sense. And then the call to action is to book a demo because we're leaving a bit of ambiguity or we're teasing the product basically and we want them to book a demo so we can chat to them. That's the main aim. And once we get them on a call, we can show them the product and mainly get feedback from them and see what they think. So that's why I've done that there. So that's the, that's the landing page. I've got about and pricing as well. So the product, pretty simple. Here we are. I've decided to align center. Um, and before I get into the kind of going in through this demo, tech stack is something a few of you've mentioned in the comments below. So I'll go through it really quickly. Using Material UI the component library for the front end, it's React and Next.js and being hosted on Vercel. For the back end, it is Node.js with Express, MongoDB database, and that's being hosted on Heroku for now. I was thinking about using something a bit more like an AWS EC2, I think it is. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, it's EC2. But I just felt I know Heroku like the back of my hand. Like I'm just going to do something that's quick and easy, and it does it does it does the job for now. I hope that's clear enough for everyone. Okay, let's quickly run through the product. So let's do a quick search. Let's do Blue Media, like that. You can see the results. The save function's working nicely, and all of the tabs which I've run through a few, you know, I've run through before on this channel, um, all working really nicely as well. So it's giving a good result which is pretty great. So saved as well, it's center aligned and the group groups are working in a really nice, nice way as well. Example, center, center as well, I think center aligned on the page makes, it just makes more sense. And then also history. 
and, that, and that's also working really nicely. So I think there's enough here for the MVP. I mean, hope you know, we'll see if as soon as users get on it and they think, you know, there isn't enough, maybe there is. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm going to see what users think and um, we'll go from there, basically. It will be interesting to see. And I look forward to letting you know in next week's video how that's gone. But um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers the video. I'm, I know this has not been the, the normal day in the life video that I normally produce. It's just been such an intense week. I haven't really found the time to do it. So here we are making a more simple video. So I think that pretty much covers it. I really appreciate you taking time to watch the end of this video. Now, if you're interested in kind of learning a bit more about my business and what I'm up to from like a monthly recurring revenue point of view and my goals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I actually have a monthly newsletter. It'll be the top link in the description. So make sure you, you join that. And um, yeah, and if you, obviously if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button below as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks.